Hello everyone, Rishi this side. So today we'll see how with the help of variables you can define themes and quickly change the overall look of your UI with the help of variables. So let's get started. Let's first understand the structure here. I have created a couple of components here and a basic UI just for the demonstration purpose. And let's zoom in a bit. You can either use it on your existing design system or if you are building things from scratch. So let's try to understand how we can do things from a fresh perspective. So in this game card, if we see the structure, we have a title with a full white color. We have a body or description with a white fill having a 70% opacity. We have our primary and secondary button with respective color. And on the top, we have a genre. Similarly, we have a tab bar. Here also we have a fill of white 20% and we have different tabs here. The active tab has a blue background and the inactive tabs have no background with text color of 70% white. And similarly for the header and if we see the icons here, we are using full white color. Here also we see the icon, it's having a full white color. So let's try to create variables out of this and then we can understand how we can convert this into different themes. Go to the local variables and let me just create a new collection here and let's start defining our color variables click on this create variables let's say color and we can say title and value can be full white now we'll be creating a lot more variables based on our ui so let's see the second one can be color variable for the body text let's say create color for body we can define here white 70 percent now one more tip here if you want to segregate further you just need to append a category in front of the name let's say double click the name and you can say text slash so it will create a segregation like this similarly for the body text slash I'm not sure why it's appending name as well in the name oh, sorry in the front usually this doesn't work like this a bit more organized and neat right so let's define the same thing for our buttons so our primary button would be button slash primary and the color would be this one we'll pick this color we need not to define any opacity for this and for the secondary one let's call it primary bg and before that let's define the color for the text as well we can define color button slash primary text Now let's attach these color variables to our UI. Let me just close it. Let's zoom in a bit. Select the title here. Go and select from the libraries or here you will be saying local colors. Title. Select the description here. We can attach body for the genre. Let's add a genre. So let's define one more variable here. 
and let's call it icons slash default so by default we are using white color icons so let's append this to this icon So now to define a theme, let's go to local variables and you see this plus icon here, right? So from here we can define different modes. So let me just demonstrate it here. Once I click this, it will say new mode. So we can call it light and here we can call it dark. So here you can define n number of modes and on the basis of that you can change the color values here so let me just show you what i mean so let's just change maybe card bg from white five percent to black five percent and card border from white to black ten percent so let me just show you how it will affect the ui so let's drag a copy out of it and zoom in a bit to apply a mode to a particular component you can just go to this variable icon right next to the layer and you can see here we have defined a collection to here we have two modes dark and light so by default the first mode is applied by default so if you change it to the light mode you can see the card BG has been changed to transparent black. So let me just draw a frame around it and show you things in action. Yeah. So you can see, right, our card is changing based on the theme we are attaching to it. And of course, to see this, we have to change this background. So now let's do one more thing here let's define one more variable and call it page bg so for the full page so in the dark mode we want our background to be something dark maybe one 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 and for the light mode we are using full white color and let's define couple of more variable sorry let's define couple of more color values for the light thing so in the light thing we want our title to be something of dark color let's keep it simple one 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 only and we'll just copy paste this code and we will not touch the opacity you can touch the opacity i mean based on your requirement so you can directly paste from here as well Let's keep the button color same for the primary one and for the secondary one, let's change it to dark and icons also to the dark one. So now let's see things in action. You can either apply mode to all the instances here, but a better way would be to select the parent level element so let's say we have our body as the parent level element let's attach the color as well before attaching any theme to it so remember we defined one more color here page bg cool so now if i change the mode from dark to light you can see our whole ui has been updated We can define colors for the top bar as well so or we can you know use some existing only maybe here also yes let's just you would use card bg and for the text let's just use body and for the header as well let's change the title from full white to title variable and for the icon, let's attach the icon color. So now if I come here and select body 
and switch the theme you can see our whole UI has been updated with the new theme so you can define different themes so let's say maybe you have two three more themes you want to experiment with you can define here through the mode and start defining the colors as well and one good practice to keep things different category is it will give you more freedom to experiment so let's say in the light theme the icons we want to change it from black to the blue one so even though the icons were having the same value that was for full white we have actually defined a different variable for that so that it gives us more freedom to experiment with the ui so now you can see in the light theme our icons are using the blue color and in the dark theme it will be white this is just scratching the surface here but this can be really robust and really powerful and it can be pretty complex as much as you want so let me show you another example here here i have an input field and we have different states of the input field for default hover field focus error and disabled state and i have defined let me show you the colors which i have defined so here you can see for all the elements i have defined colors for each of the scenario like for the input label font color what it would be if we are using dark theme and what it would be if we are using light theme so similarly i have defined colors for all the scenarios like hover default state for border input colors error border color and let me just show you things in action here I have a frame here and I have dragged the copy out of this parent component. So I have attached a dark theme to the frame and the frame itself has a form BG which is also coming from the variables. So if I change this to light, our input label has been updated. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial and do comment your suggestions and let me know if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.